Steve, how'd you feel like this weekend went? Amazing. It had was a good great weekend. time. It was a super good weekend. Davey, what do you think? About this weekend? Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, it was a good weekend. It was, it was fun. a great weekend. Yeah. Steve's uh, using the Helix now. Yeah. It sounded amazing. Thank you. It sounded absolutely amazing. Absolutely. And of course, Davey's using the Fractal over here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yep. And what kind of guitars are you guys using? What, uh... Steve, is this a new guitar that you were playing this weekend? Uh, no, I've had this. I normally play a Telecaster, but I was decided to break out this old guy this weekend. Okay. Yeah. Leg out. Very cool. And then, uh, Davey's got the TMJ, the Too Much Jaw Tension guitar. TMG. TMG. <laughs> That's a tele. Uh, um, we're out of, we're out of, we're out of battery or out no, of No, no, the, yeah, it's just uh, automatic turn off. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. So I'm going to walk through my rig real quick, just give everybody a little bit of an update because people have been asking some questions and some comments, which I think is awesome. So... I'm using Ableton on two different machines. I have my machine that actually produces my sounds. I'm hosting Ableton Live 11 on both, the full suite version. Um, and so I have my grand piano, my upright piano. Um, it's really small. I don't know if you can see that or not. But my grand piano, upright piano, then I have a pad, and then I have uh, the ability to latch a pad real quickly. Um, and then I, I have contact and atmosphere pulled up just in case I need some extra sounds. This is the computer. I'm just using this really simply to record my in-ear monitor mix for this video. So I'm just running through. Um, our monitor engineer actually just copied my mix and sent it out of this snake right here into my little Focusrite 2i2. Super, super, super simple. Just running that into this machine to control that mix. So I, I recorded yesterday's service and run through, today's service and run through. Um, super, super simple. I've, I'm also using this Glyph hard drive. Uh, it's really, really super fast to host, like to hold all my, my sounds. Uh, so everything is like, because I, I mean, I use my laptop for a lot of stuff. So I have my sounds and all my samples and things loaded on there. Um, talk back pedal right here, so I press on this to activate my mic, uh, which allows me to communicate with the band only. Um, and then I'm using two different keyboards. I don't really love this keyboard, but this is the one that we use here at Grace. Um, it's just a Hammer 88, it's super simple, got um, some Hammer Action keys. And then this is a, a Roland A800 Pro. I use this for any other sound other than the grand piano. There's Aiden right there. What's up, Aiden? Dude, best keyboard player and MD in the world right uh, here, Ah, that's not true. That's true. That's definitely not true. I appreciate that, though. And so, anyway, I I have some... I'm, I, my setup is very, very simple for weekends like this because I'm really just doing piano and pad, nothing more than that, except on Even in the Valley, have something fun in there, but... Um, yeah, so I have delay and reverb mapped here. I can control that from my uh, piano, a high cut on my pad. And then I have this thing right here. This allows me, you probably hear this if you're listening closely to my piano, you'll hear me press. You'll see me press this, or it's the octave one actually. And that just activates, that, that basically layers up a MIDI note on this keyboard so that it is playing an octave. So I press one note and it's actually playing an octave. So it makes the piano punchier and it kind of sticks through the mix a little bit more uh, and then i just have the click the on off button to map the click right here so if i need to fire the click for any reason i have that here yeah thanks steve that's great um <laughs> yeah so it's super super simple for weekends like this um we've got thanksgiving coming up and that's going to be a lot more involved and i'm excited about that and i'll do a, a more in-depth video for that but that's all i've got going on this weekend so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm probably going to put this at the top of the video instead of the end because it might be more interesting at the top. But yeah, I hope you watch the rest of the video and enjoy the music. Thanks, guys. I, 10 seconds out.
and beginning. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hey, okay, check. Check one, two, one, two. Keegan, do you think the tracks work? I don't know. I need to test it one more time. All right, let's do it again. Let's have some fun. Let's dance. The presence of Jesus. 20 seconds. 15. Come in the key of F. And beginning. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Good morning, Grace Church. Come on, let's stand together and worship God. Intro. Hallelujah. Two, we're going to declare it this morning. One, two, three, four. What may, we're going to give God glory. Amen. Come on, clap your hands. Come on. Even the valleys will praise God. Verse. Chorus.
outro. Two, three, four. Verse 1.
Just a heads up, when Wes comes out, he's gonna go to Keisha's right, so Keisha, you're actually gonna scoop to your left when he Interlude. comes out. Interlude. the symbols he doesn't have a handheld mic six keep bringing up just a little bit four let's bring it up some more bring it up some more here's one
and I might ruffle a couple of feathers, but I'm going to say this. Our students don't need another sporting event to go to. They've got plenty of those. They need to be in church. And that's why I'm excited about the weekend retreat coming up. This is going to be an opportunity for middle schoolers and high schoolers to encounter God in a way that they will never, ever forget. And they're going to have an opportunity to do that in a fun way. We have an incredible team weekend. How many moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas do we have in this room? Aunts and uncles, just lift your hand. Let's partner together this weekend to get as many of our students registered for the weekend retreat this weekend, today. Don't wait to do it. Also, we are elated about the God is Conference coming up with Dr. Hugh Ross. It's going to be awesome. Dr. Ross is our friend and he's been here several times. But if you don't know anything about him, he's an astrophysicist, he's an author, and he's going to bring with him some of the brightest minds in the field to just talk about the miraculous ways that God shows up in creation and in science. And here's the cool thing. This is a free event. Everybody say free event. But we want you to register for it. Say register. So there's a QR code right there on your bulletin kind of fun scan it register for it or if you need help find one of our a team members at an info center and they are ready and equipped to help you well before Wes comes out why don't you just Hold turn one. to somebody give them a Bring wave say happy one, sunday two, if you're watching three, online type your four. name in the chat then you know go. that you're watching with us me my father will love them and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them obedience and love for Jesus are meant to be together stand with me if you will this morning we're going to take this song here and respond to the Lord here's my my challenge and it's to me as well my challenge when I think of Jesus preaching this sermon, I can imagine the intensity because Jesus understood where the narrow path led. He, he can we're going to less click. We're, we're going to grow over these next many years, and there's going to be more and more reasons to back off this narrow path. We've got to set a stake in the Jesus, even in the midst of that godless culture, said, no compromise. Follow me on the Here's the intro. Ready? Let's walk and the path and one, two, plan. three, four, five. We're going to sing this song in response to the Lord. Father, who we are in the name of Jesus. Five. Cycle that progression. Six. 
Dieu. Bring it down to the verse. Going a little bit, Ben. That's really good, guys. One. Yeah, 
uh, same progression, keep it up. more passes. Pass after this. Cool. Here's the ending. Ready on the six. Oh, one, two, three, four. Nice stuff, guys. Really good job this weekend. Yeah, great job, guys. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a little bit of a walkthrough back here. Oh, this is Brian. Hey. This is Josie. Okay, so this is our monitor board, which is the Digico SD12. I don't know how to use that, just being super honest here. Whoa. Um, we have tracks firing here, so we have typically an A computer and a B computer. That's Daniel. Hello. Sorry, guys. I'm probably interrupting your conversation. You're good. What's up, Steve? That's Guy. What's up, video? Yeah. That's our, that's our patch bay doing a vlog? wireless stuff. Yeah. This is where we, like, have people grab their mics and whatnot. That's a nice camera bag. Is that your camera bag, Guy? my backpack, dude. I like that. Okay. Well, anyway. Thanks, guys. Bye. It does fit. It does fit an entire camera. And multiple lenses. Really nice. I believe you. Those are nice. Alrighty. Well, there you go. That's a little bit of a that's a little bit of a back scenes view. I'll do more of that in the future. But there you go.